Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Barbell. Welcome back to some more Skyrim action. Lydia is busy admiring my very heroic pose, and she should because it is awesome. Still here. Um, anyway, you may notice my character looks a little different. Um, I did a few things off camera because they are very, very boring, but I wrote them down so you guys wouldn't get lost. Um, first thing I did is I... You just think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Proof. He is proof of their ignorance. Anyway... I purchased some apprentice robes of destruction. Um, I don't have the apprentice hood, so I look kind of wonky with a novice hood and apprentice robes, but whatever. Um, I also crafted some steel uh, gauntlets and boots for myself, and I crafted two new weapons for my guards. One is an armsman, armsman sword added by the immersive weapons mod for Lydia, and a s steel longsword for yes, my fame. Raya. Do you need something? Uh, it has a cool little like holster clip thing on her back if you can see it um what else did i do oh and i crafted a bunch of jewelry as well the gold i have now is around four thousand i started around six thousand um i crafted a bunch of jewelry so that kind of offset the cost of these robes and after crafting the jewelry and the armor i went from level 20 smithing to 23 let's see what else oh the skill point from last episode i put that towards apprentice alteration and I got some torches for Raya and Lydia, so hopefully it'll be a little easier to see. I also completely removed the light mod, the RCRN mod, so hopefully you guys can see better. I did a test recording, and it looked like it still showed up in the recording, even though I disabled it. So I just went ahead and just completely deleted it. So hopefully it won't be showing up anymore. But at least I got the torches some guards. Or <laughs> <laughs> the torches some guards. I got the guards some torches just in case it's still active. Um, you guys should be able to see it a little bit better. So, walking up here, going from Iverstead, going to go go ahead and walk up to High Hrothgar, meet up with the Greybeards. I'll be sure to drop off the supplies that old dude bro gave me before I left. Oh, we got a spider. Oh, he already saw us. Get destroyed! Oh shit, that was badass. Oh, he's doing a backflip too. What a boss, right on their head. What an epic way to start this episode. Give me your frostbite venom. Conveniently packaged in a little potion bottle. <sighs> so this will be the first episode of many. I'll be pre-recording so I can upload them while I am recovering from surgery. Hopefully they are to your guys' liking. I am doing my best. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, another thing I got was a necklace of minor magica. Only increases it by 20 points, but hey. Something is better than nothing. Holy jeebus. There we go. Oh, and I turned the graphics down a little bit so I wouldn't have any more frame rate issues. Wow, we are pretty high up already. Because I got high, because I got high, because I got high. <laughs> name the song and you win nothing, but I'll still laugh if you're able to name the song. Hello, Barknar. If you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Where else would I be going? This is the path to High Hrothgar only. Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I'm a little close to this guy, aren't I? I wonder I'm like what resting my face on this chess piece. <laughs> what are you doing? Says the I guy like who's resting his head. Up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. It doesn't hurt when I bag some game ah. along the way. I meant to turn the steam stuff off. Sorry if you guys can see that. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make you, the trip weak? leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. If some people deliver food or give the food All to right. someone else to deliver. <clears throat> like me. I'm the errand boy around here. These steps are kind of glitchy and wonky. I get stuck on them. Lot. Wow, look at that view. Delicious. So how's everybody doing today? Whoa, Jesus! 
Save me, baby Jeebus. Okay, it went after the guards. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought he was leaping at me. I'm gonna get up on the little cliff side. The fight's probably gonna be over before I get up there. Screw it. This guy's going down the damn mountainside, I'll tell you that. Oh, I hit Lydia. <laughs> Die. Oh, there he goes. See you later, fuckers. Yeah, good riddance. Oh, I killed this little goat, too. Poor goat. Give me your hide. You can't hide from me. Ah, ah, ah. So, how's everyone doing? How are you doing today? Wah! Oh, that's just a wolf. Oh, it's a nice wolf. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. You know, I actually turned kill cams off and it's still obviously showing kill cams. I don't know why. Yeah, you can go down the mountainside too. Is my head bleeding? Oh my god, yeah. My head appears to be sliced open. But that's okay. I'm a dragonborn. Don't even care. I remember there should be someone else around here meditating on one of these things. Oh, I should have read the tablets on the way up. I'll read this one. Read Etch Tablet. Wow, I missed two others. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Oh, poor mankind. Pretty peaceful up here. Minus the whole, you know, snow saber cat and snow or ice wolf uh, trying to kill me in cold blood, quite literally, because it's cold up here. Other than that, it's pretty peaceful. Aha, there's the other person. Hello. Yeah? Yeah? Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. What are you doing? Walking the steps. Doesn't meditating look like you're walking on the to emblems. Me. I make this trip every few years. Got nothing better to do? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Wow. Until next... There won't be a next time. Ooh, was that a dragon? I don't think so. I think that was just like snow effect. Whoa. I swear to Jeebus, I keep thinking I'm seeing a dragon flying around behind the mountain over there. If you guys can see, but there's a frost troll just chilling right there, right where my crosshair is. This is gonna be fun. For anyone who's faced a troll or a frost troll before, their health regenerates mega quick. So if you don't do enough DPS, uh, got wow, well, well, my house cars are clueless. If you don't do enough DPS, they'll regenerate it faster than you can, you know, attack. But I think with two guards plus myself, we should be able to take him down. Uh, 
See, look at his health bar. I'll just sit there and look at it. It goes up pretty fast. Get some help. Go, Draugr! Oh, holy crap, Raya's already down. I think I will be the healing mage in this. Wait. My you are welcome, Raya. Oh yeah, restoration increase, yeah. She down? No. Take all of my healing juice, Lydia. Interpret that how you will. <laughs> Get a destruction spell that doesn't use quite as much magic as Teamwork. Look at us. Look at our little team, our little squad here. We did some good work. Good job, team. Let's see, what emblem is this? Re or tablet. Tablet number five. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong. Or too was strong. Although their sacrifices were many fold. Isn't there something on the very top of this mountain, like a pickaxe and like ebony ore or something? If you happen to know the answer, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. If I remember, it was called a notched pickaxe or something like that, and people were arguing whether or not that was a reference to Minecraft or not. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Cool. I think we're getting pretty close. Let me... First of all, I'll check it's on Legendary. Yep. Turn up the music just a tad. really like the music for this game. Another tablet. Jürgen Windcaller chose silence in return. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the Calm built his throne on the throat of the world. Cool story, Jürgen bro. Although Jürgen Windcaller will become significant. Because we will be receiving a quest from the Greybeards to retrieve the horn of Jürgen Jürgen Windcaller Jürgen Durgen Durgen Happy Leif Erikson Day Okay let's put their stupid supplies in their stupid box Uh, is it a miscellaneous? Yes, it is. Clemic supplies. It's probably just an empty bag. Hopefully I can remember to return to that guy and get some sort of reward. I ain't doing that for free. Pay with gold or your life. Preferably gold, though. Okay, you guys. Oops. You guys. Relax while I deal with this crap. I don't want you all up in my grill while I'm talking to. Greybeard McOldface. So. A dragonborn appears. At this moment, 
in the turning of the age. Right when the dragons return, what are the odds? I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. The gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Are you hungry, huh? Well, suck on this! Dragonborn, it is you. Yeah. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thanks. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Didn't I just tell you I answered your summons? Uh, okay, Master seems a little silly. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. No one is my master. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many oh. of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Now I don't feel as Whether special. you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Um. You know what? Who are you? What is this place? I'd like to learn a little bit more about you. We are the Greybeards. Really? Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Nito. Alright, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Yeah, but I do. Do you have the discipline and temperament to Deshapren? follow the path? You rack Deshapren! Uh, that remains to be seen. I'm not your racist. I'm sorry if that offended anybody. You've already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice. What the? Thun, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Okay, I shouldn't do that. Dragon blood. That's wrong. Gives you a newborn <laughs> ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word. Your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Power. Einarth will now teach you Grove, the second word. I am your sword and your shield. Okay. Grove means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Where did Raya go? What do you need, my face? Let's study this shit. Take it all in. Nailed it. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Sweet. As part of your initiation. Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. What do you need, my dear? Silence! Out of the way, Lydia. Use both Fus and Rome. Oh, okay. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this actual story mission. Nailed it. Destroying your pottery in the process. Hope you don't mind. Get away. Who's walking over here? Get away. Well done. Thanks. Again. Go 
Close! Go! They're all staring at each other. <laughs> you learn quickly. Once more. Hooray! Impressive. I'm a true Your master. Is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Ah, uh, that's right, World Run Sprint. Man, it always sucks doing the main story missions because a large portion of them are very boring, like this. Haha, messing up your stuff. Very boring, very slow. I apologize for this, but there's nothing I can do. Whoa, is that floating? Ugh. Come on. Uh, kinda. Out of the way, I'm the Dragonborn, I go first. The body will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Approach Master Body and we will hit wood. Don't mind the blood all over my hood. Came with the hood. Came like this. It's used. Now we will see how you can master the new shot. Okay. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Dude almost flew straight off the mountainside. That would have been baller. Next to me, Master Bori oh. will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Yo, I got this. Yo, I'm a total boss. What a useless gate, though. You can just walk right around it. But okay. Further training. Your quick mastery of a new thume is... Uh, Making you jealous? Astonishing. Thought so. I heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself... Oh. Thanks. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. In the ancient chain of Ustangrau. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Whoa! Maximum dialogue options. Uh. Well, this will relate to the mission. Who was Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born so sky got you so jürgen got his ass kicked in a battle and rather than take responsibility he decided it was the gods just punishing the nords for using the voice great oh, whoa 
That scared myself. Um, powers. There we go. Action. Summon. Yes, my thing. Would you look at that? You need something? Okay. Ustin grab. Holy jeebus. So that would be all the way over there. Um. Okay. I know I said I was going to go to the College of Winter World. I'll still do that. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just going to fast travel back to Iverstead. Places I've already been to. Because, you know, if I walk back there, I'll just be saying, we'll just be seeing the same stuff. Won't be anything new. So I'll walk to places that are undiscovered. And um, fast travel, if I really need to, back to places I've already found. Because you can take a carriage and just, you know, kind of teleport to any of the holds, even if you haven't discovered them yet. But, eh, I don't really feel like doing that. Although, I could, if the overwhelming response of the viewers is, Yo, dog, just get in a damn carriage, and let's get going. And I can understand your point. Oftentimes, things can get boring if you're just walking along. But... On the other hand, you can also find some pretty interesting things. See some funny stuff. Nice staff there, lady. I don't like to use staffs in this game. Or in any game, really. It's just not my thing. Meh. <laughs> Still here. Oh, uh oh. Guys, do you see that? No. No. No, get away. No. No. <laughs> get away. I'm warning you. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. No. Yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. How about no? When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Time all shall bear witness to his Buddha. Uh-oh. Sweet Flame Atronach. He's not even fighting me. Awesome. Oh, it is fighting me. I'm the Dragonborn, but hide over here. Let everyone else do the fighting for me. Oh, really? Did I fall down some sort of weird bank? Kiss my boot, eh, cultist? Oh, you're gonna go right down the river. Old man river. Oh, what's that? You're stuck in swimming? Swimming mode? That's cool. Ah, oh, I went right over her head. That was going to be epic. Wait, let me get your stuff before I send your corpse on its way. Um, this Mask, cool. The robes are cool. But, not very useful. Yes. Oh, they're worth a hell of a lot, though. Give me that. Give me that stuff. Okay, be on your way. Smell you later. I guess the other guy died as well. Oh, there he is, resting comfortably along this rock. Dude had a bee in his pocket. Cultist's orders. This should trigger the quest. Well, if that damn thing would get off the screen. Board the vessel. Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as the Mest before he reaches Solstein. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. I like how, had none of them showed up, I would have never known about Mirak, and he could have done whatever he wanted without my knowledge. I wasn't going to go to Solstein. I had no reason to until now. Freaking genius. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So go this way. Let's 
So I'm going to make the journey up to the College of Winterhold. Uh, see what I can get. I think the College of Winterhold will have apprentice hoods. So that'll be nice. Personally, I like all my things to match. I'm just weird like that. Although, if you guys prefer that I pursue the main story a little bit more, I can do that. Just let me know. But I figured everybody has seen the main story quest line. Everybody knows about it, and it's honestly not too impressive. Am I, like, looking into the void down there? That, my friends, is oblivion. Don't go there. Okay, I think I'll go for a couple more minutes, and I'm going to end the episode. What? Oh, troll. He be trolling. Go team victory. Team human shield. Ah, uh, you know what? My restoration going. Ah, get out of the way, Raya. Damn. I am fairly certain that his health regenerates faster than my sparks does damage. Therefore, back to lightning bolt. Oh hell to the yeah, destruction level up. So I wonder if we can get this guy to fall down the river too. Yeah! Troll's like, eh, that tickled. And I just look down in disappointment. Yeah! Epic. Oh, did I get him? No. Bow to your lord. Smell you later. Into the river with you. Somewhere where all these rivers empty onto the ocean, there's just going to be like a big gathering of corpses just clogging up the uh, the river and i'm okay with that i'm right behind you nern root don't care not an alchemist whoa i do care about that note note to self read this note capitan there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river northwest of the rift we could use some more civilian support from that area for the war effort and the phone is ringing i will be right back Okay, and I am back. That was actually the surgeon's office calling and letting me know the insurance has approved the surgery. And the insurance company was being a jerk and cutting it close because currently it is two days before surgery. And had they not approved it, it would have been postponed and that would have sucked. Sucked the big one, therefore I am happy. Uh, where did I leave off in this note? Uh, send a few men to investigate. It's probably just a couple of wolves, so you'll only need to send at most two men. Happy hunting. Happy hunting for the troll. Ooh, or a calcum or vein. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So, I think I said before I got up, I'll go a couple more minutes and then I will end the episode. Wow, sure is bright out for nighttime. And just in case the mod didn't go away um, on the recording side, I will activate some candlelight just in case so you guys can see. I know I gave my guards torches, but they might be not be taking them out because I have my brightness set so high. I don't know if that affects it or not. Take your torches out? What time is it? 
Oh, it's, I think they'll take it out in two minutes. Hm. Well, whatever. Do whatever you guys want to do. Okay, well they made me look stupid. And there's a saber cat up there. Y'all ready for this? I'm gonna get up here in my safety zone. Sup, saber cat? Can't get to me up here, can you? You mad? That cat is getting cracked. Really? All right. Give me your pelt. Whoa, this one killed two goats. He was a total badass until we showed up. Seriously, guys? Yes, my Thane. Do you need... Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? Oh, you have a torch. Use it. We are fired. Ha, ha, ha. That was stupid. Huh. That is really weird that they're not taking the torches out. Maybe it really does have something to do with your brightness settings. Uh, is there a cave down here? Oh, this is the right way to go as well. I almost went, like, off to the east, randomly. Holy crap, this is one hell of a hill. Hell of a hill. Now, if I remember, dead ahead, there's, like, a small rise in the middle of that flat area. I think there's a dragon hideout there. Dragon fort. <laughs> dragon treehouse. Okay, you know what? This seems like a good stopping point. There's quite a few things here that I can explore in the next episode, but that's going to wait till next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.